All right, good morning. I'm starting the axle U-joint replacement drill. Um, it's important to notice that in the manual, they have you remove the bed and sling the back end from an overhead. Well, I don't have an overhead sling, you know, so we're not going to go down that path. If you try to use the jack points, in the absence of something to counterweight, the front end comes off the ground and the jacks start to, to roll. So you have to lift the back end separately from the axle and behind the center of gravity. So what I'm doing here is the first thing you do is you loosen but do not remove the axle nut and the lug nuts. Um, I'm leaving the wheels on so if anything goes wrong, it stops. <laughs> It falls and it stops on the wheels. It doesn't stop on me or the transmission. <clears throat> what I've identified in the back, because they support the transmission anyway, are these sections that my safety jacks are on. And there's a little notch, and I can't hold this too well. I'm sorry. <clears throat> that the jacks get a firm purchase in. They're, they're, it's a secure purchase. I lifted it up using my jack right behind the trailer mount and I had to use that because if you go any further the wheels of the floor jack get in the way of trying to work with the jacks themselves. When you lower it, lower it enough to secure it onto the jacks but don't take the pressure off of that big whoopee thing, uh, the trailer hitch and the, the, the crossbar. The reason being is that's part of the weight on the jacks and you want to take the stress off of that because you're going to take that entire piece off. Um, I don't want to admit it, but it sure looks like it. That entire piece has got to come off to be able to get to the U-joints that are inside the guards. You're going to disconnect it from the leaf springs, then lower it, then deal with it. So I just want to show you this first of all. Use those jack points. Um, that's the only thing I can recommend, and I said be careful jacking this because it's kind of squirrely with it rolling on the front wheels. And definitely leave the tires, the wheels on until you've got it securely jacked. Don't take them off. Alright, that's it for now.